CataractCoach.com using the capsular tissue as a shield to protect the corneal endothelium. Now, this is something I've never seen before. Check it out. Now, our operating is certainly is using a femtosecond laser to create nucleus division and softening of the nucleus, but also to create a capsulotomy. So that capsulotomy that's created is about five millimeters in diameter, and the surgeon's gonna leave that in the eye and use it as a shield. I'll tell you about that. Now, did I tell you about retinarounds.com, our new sister channel, new retina video every single day. It's also great for cataract surgeons like you and me because it'll go over some very important concepts that we need to know. So here again, finishing up the femtosecond laser. You can see it's, the femtosecond laser is not a very fast procedure. You gotta take your time here. And once that is completed, notice how the surgeon is not using the femtosecond laser to make incisions. Why? A diamond keratome is still a much better way of making an incision than a femtosecond laser. For your main fake incision, I'll always take the diamond. And you can see that here with this surgeon as well, using it the laser for capsulotomy and to soften the nucleus or divide it, but not to make the phaco incision for the cataract surgery. Now, let's get to the cataract surgery itself, and we'll show you what is being done here. So here's the case. You're saying, what's all that subconjunctival hemorrhage? Exactly, that's from the femtosecond laser. Now, let's see what the surgeon does here. So the surgeon's going to start off, phaco incision's already been made with the keratome. Going in here with the phaco probe, you've got viscoelastic already lifting up the, an the anterior capsule, the central 5 millimeter button, up against the coronal endothelium. So you press that tissue up against the coronal endothelium with a viscoelastic barrier, and what we're going to do there is use it to just protect the cornea. It's an interesting idea. I've never thought of this. I never thought it'd be that helpful. But perhaps it is useful to have this kind of barrier there for some reason. So surgeons now you know, use the phaco probe here and take out the nucleus. And you can see, still got to chop it up a little bit. Let's see what's going to happen next. Now this part of the video, we sped it up. This is two times normal speed, 2x we're showing you right now. So now more viscoelastic, perhaps going inside the eye. Getting that nucleus kind of tilted or rocked up. And again, for routine cases, I do not find the femtosecond laser to be a big benefit. And in fact, if it was my eye having cataract surgery, at this point, I'd rather just have a beautifully done capsulorexis with a very talented surgeon. I don't want this 360 subconj hemorrhage from that suction ring. I don't think there's a big benefit here. So now you can see, look, under the endothelium of the cornea, you can see that central button of capsular tissue right up against the endothelium. It's a little bit of a shield. Again, I don't know if this is absolutely necessary, but when it was said to me, I thought, you know, that's an interesting idea. It's something I've never seen before, never even thought of doing it. So in a case like this, I'd take that central tissue of the capsule and just get it out of the eye. But here the surgeon is leaving it up against the corneal endothelium as a little bit of a shield or protection. I thought it was interesting. And so here again, last bit of nucleus coming out, and then at some point probably just aspirate out that central lens capsule that's up against the endothelium. Here you can see beautifully, there's the endothelium being covered partially, at least by that small little button. But remember, that button's only 5 millimeters in diameter, and what's the corneal diameter? Like 12 millimeters, right? So it's, I don't know if it's completely helpful. But here, now at the end, up oh, there you go, capsule's gone now. So again, Cataract Coach, the world's most complete library of everything to do with cataract and anterior segment surgery. Remember, we're not just cataract surgery. We're cataract, glaucoma, cornea, refractive, anything anterior segment. We got it on cataractcoach.com. And then anything posterior segment, you got on retinarounds.com. Now, cleaning up the cortex here, end of the case. And let's see the rexus that's remaining, or actually, more accurately, a capsulotomy. Rexus means you tore it, but here you didn't tear it. You used a laser, so it's a capsulotomy. And now cortex comes out pretty easily. Sometimes in these cases, you can have a little tougher time removing cortex if you've cut that anterior cortex, you know, with the femtosecond laser as well. But here it's cleaned up pretty nicely. Good job here. So in a case like this, I don't know, is there a benefit to using a femtosecond laser? I think, you know what, if we're honest here, if you've got an inexperienced surgeon or a surgeon who, let's say, is having more difficulty, bottom half of the bell curve, using a femtosecond laser for every case may be a benefit, may make them a better surgeon. But I think if you've got a top-notch, world-class surgeon, which is what we're all aspiring to be, right? That's why you watch Cataract Coach. Only good surgeons watch Cataract Coach. Then I think you want to just improve your skills here and be able to do a beautiful capsorexis. Now, here at the end, caps are back, cleaned up nicely. That's nicely done. Let's see what we're going to finish up the case with. More viscoelastic. There's the capsulotomy. And let's see what kind of lens we're getting in there. So, by the way, I like the positioning of the eye. I like the draping. That looks beautiful. And that's the end of the case. So, check out retinarounds.com.